Are you struggling to get the results you want in your network marketing business? Or maybe you're struggling to get more leads to your business and grow your name list. Or maybe you're struggling to convert those people into sales or maybe even business builders. They're just some of the problems I hear day in and day out in the network marketing world. And unfortunately, it's something that network marketers face. And in this video, I'm gonna be walking you step by step through five simple tips that is gonna help you get the success you want in your network marketing business. So stay tuned. Hey, it's Michael Favaloro. Hope you're doing awesome. And today I am gonna be teaching you Five simple steps that's gonna help you succeed in your network marketing business. Now, I wish I knew these five steps when I first started, because when I first started, I struggled and I went through all the frustrations of going out there to home and hotel meetings, and I went out prospecting on social media and I added 50 people a day, but nothing seemed to work. And I was just like the common network marketer. I was struggling to get the results. I was It was my first business opportunity, like a lot of you potentially, and that's why when I discovered these five tips, I knew I had to share it with you guys, okay? So let's get on with it. Now the first tip is to be posting every single day. If you're struggling to keep up with every single day or maybe you're not posting yet, but you feel like you do need to, but you can't keep up with it because maybe you're occupied in your nine to five job or maybe you have too much on your schedule or your family's um, very busy and you always have to see them and you have too many commitments, at least post a few times a week, okay? now. Look at the big gurus in the industry, all our leaders. Think about Eric Worre, of Tanya Eliza, we got Sarah Robbins, the list goes on. What are they all doing? They're all posting valuable content to their audience, okay? Just like us, we're their audience. And what happens to a lot of people that listen to them? They're the ones who are getting pitched by all the top leaders. All the top leaders are attracting all these people to their content, and what they're doing is that they're inviting them on the back end to their business opportunity. Now that's something you need to do. If you're maybe nervous to be posting on social media or publishing on YouTube or podcasts or Facebook or doing Facebook lives or anything, let me ask you something, okay? What do you value more? Do you value uh, looking cool in front of all your friends because they don't really pay your bills? Or do you value going out there and really creating the life you deserve and doing all the necessary actions you need to take to create that freedom that you want, right? All of us go for the second one, right? So you need to let your ego out of the way and just start publishing, okay? That's the most important thing. When you start doing it, your life is gonna change and prospects are gonna just flood to you. They're gonna be attracted to what you do, they're gonna be attracted to all your content and they're gonna be reaching out to you and you're gonna have leads coming to you all, this, all the time, okay? So that's my first tip. Now the second tip is to be building connections every single day. Now. If you think about what I said earlier in this video, I built 50 connections a day on Facebook, okay? Now, that was a good thing. That is what you're supposed to do. The only problem I had was that I had no idea how to close. I had no idea how to build a relationship or anything, and that's the reason why I struggled. But I was at least doing the first part right. I was building connections every single day on Facebook. I was adding up to 50 people a day, and I reckon around 20 to 30 people um, added me back because that's how many people I message every day. Now, for you, you need to be building connections every single day, whether that be on Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, wherever, whichever platform you use, make sure you're always connecting with people and adding them as friends so that you can um, have more leads to your business. Think about it. Businesses have two most important factors that you need to have, um, two important skills that you need to master, okay? They're two money-making skills, right? One is leads, which as I just said, you're gonna build connections and get more people onto your name list. And the other one is conversions. And conversions, I'm going to go, um, you're gonna find that out in tip number four, okay? So just for this tip, make sure you're always building connections and you're always building rapport and trust with your uh, leads. And that way you can constantly grow your name list every single day and you're never gonna run out, okay? So that's my tip. Now my tip number three is to follow up. Now we've all heard that fortune is in the follow up, okay? It's a very important statement. A lot of network marketers know it, but unfortunately a lot of network marketers, like maybe you, you're not following up enough. And I feel like the most, uh, the most struggling aspect of following up is that it's actually the mindset. A lot of 
network marketers feel like they're hassling their prospects and they feel like they're annoying them because they're always following up with them every single day. And in their eyes, they're thinking that their prospects are saying like, oh, who's this person always following up with me? Like, can you please go away? And they have that, and you might have the fear that they're gonna block you. Well, let me tell you this. There was a university study completed. It was about six months ago, I read it. I don't know how long ago, I just, I read it six months ago. But what they did was that they had around 500 leads and it doesn't matter what niche it was for because in any business niche, um, following up is always the same. It's the same process, okay? Anyway, they had 500 leads and what they did was that they called every single one of them up 10 times, right? and they pulled out all the statistics from it, and what they ended up finding was that about the, f about the number five mark, the fifth follow-up mark, um, they started getting uh, results, and they started getting some of those leads reaching out back to them. But what ended up happening was that they looked a little bit further, and on the seven mark, when they had seven touch points with their customers, and what I mean by touch point is, is that every time you follow up, it's another touch point, your customer is kind of touched by you in a way. Um, on the seven mark, they found that that was the most effecti effective spot and the effective um, touch point for customers to start reaching back up to you, okay? So what you need to know is that if you're not reaching, if you're not following up at least seven times, you're most likely missing out on, you know, people that could potentially join your business opportunity or even buy a product off you, okay? So you need to start following up that many times. If you're not following up that many times, you're most likely losing a lot of leads, okay? Don't feel like you're stressed out because you're, I mean, don't feel like you're um, hassling your prospects. Don't feel like you have that fear and don't have preconceptions that um, you think that your prospects are gonna be um, wondering, who is this guy? Can this person please go away, okay? Get rid of that fear and start following up seven times, okay? That's my tip number three. Okay, tip number four is to learn closing skills. Now. Closing skills is what I said before. It's about conversions. So what I said was that there's two money-making skills you need in network marketing. It's sale, I mean, it's leads, so finding leads and closing, okay? So with the closing part, you need to be able to convert your customers from a potential prospect to a business builder or a, a product consumer, okay? So how do, you, how do you practice converting people? How do you practice conversions and closing people? Well, just look up common objections. That's the first step you can take. It's so easy. You can just go to Google and you can type in most common network marketing objections. And when you find those most common objections, develop the best answers that you can for them. Or even better, look up like already proven used objections, I mean, um, res uh, responses for those objections and start incorporating that into your business. Start practicing it against the wall if you need to do that. That's what I did one time. I practiced against a wall. I just pretended like it was a person. But what it did was that it, I got used to the speech. I got used to handling that objection, okay? And when prospects threw that at me, I was able to um, directly say my response back that I already knew. And straight away, they were like, oh, whoa, they were taken back. And it went on to their next objection and the next objection. But I knew every single one, so I could just, um, I could just counter each argument that they would have, okay? So you need to be practicing conversion skills every single day, okay? If you practice this skill every single day, you'll be mastering the closing and sales process, okay? And it's gonna get more leads into your business, you're gonna be able to close more people, and you're gonna be able to grow your organization, okay? Because you want the freedom, right? So you need to be practicing these things, okay? So that's my tip number four. Now my tip number five is to prime yourself every single morning, spiritually, okay? So what I mean by that is that, let me give you an example. Tony Robbins is the person I learned priming off. And what he does is that every single morning, he goes into an ice bath or he goes into freezing cold water if he's in that part of the world. Every single morning he will do that. But what, what happens every time he wakes up? He gets this fear. He gets this um, sense of um, nervousness or maybe this feeling that he shouldn't do it because it's out of his comfort zone. What does he do? He combats it and he just does it. And it's symbolic for tackling your fears, okay? Because there's so many fears in network marketing because a lot of us are introverts and maybe you're someone who struggles to go out there and talk to people. Maybe you're not good at building relationships. But frankly, it's something you can learn, okay? And it's just a fear that you need to conquer. So the best way to practice that is to prime yourself every single morning. If you prime yourself in the morning and um, learn how to conquer fears 
um, in a routine every single morning, just like Tony Robbins does, any fear you encounter along the day, you're going to be able to um, literally just combat it and go against it, okay? Your body is going to be um, building a resistance against it and you'll be able to do anything in network marketing if you do it every day. Now, what do I do? This is what I do. It's a bit different, but what I do is that I learned off one of my spiritual friends is that every single morning, instead of having a hot shower, you have like the coldest shower you can. And it gets to the point where you can barely breathe and you're like, <gasps> and it's like super, it's like super hard to breathe. But again, it's the same thing. I'm, I'm priming my body against fear and doubt and like nervousness. And what I also do is that I actually, <laughs> I actually, um, looking at the wall and I kind of just talk to myself. So I like to say like, I'm going to conquer 2020. I'm going to have a positive attitude. I'm going to have, I'm going to bring energy to the day. I'm going to conquer all the things I want. And I just say all these different things that is going to like, um, prime myself and like make my, make sure that I am ready to tackle out all the, um, all the fears and all the goals that I need to achieve every single day. Okay. So that's something you need to do every single morning. And don't forget, just prime yourself. You can figure out your own way to do it. And I promise it's literally the most important thing. If you don't do it, you could wake up angry and the rest of the day you're going to be angry and you're going to be procrastinating and you're going to be frustrated and it's, you're going to not do anything effective for your business. Okay. You need to always think business first and before you do anything about the business, you've got to prime yourself every single morning. Okay. So they're my five tips and I really hope you enjoyed this video. These five tips, um, I hope you go out and start uh, using them for your business because it's going to help you grow dramatically. Okay. So yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Hey, thanks for watching today's video. I hope you learned something valuable from it. If you learned something or maybe you um, gained something incredibly valuable and maybe you're using one of these tips, I'd really appreciate if you hit that like button and that subscribe button so you can get notified when I release new videos every single week, okay? And just to let you guys know, I do have a free four-day masterclass that teaches you how you can attract new customers and business builders to your business. And I also teach you how you can auto-recruit them so you're spending more time on the thing that matters, okay? So I hope you guys enjoy this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.